Welcome back. We are continuing with uh, clinical psychologist Kai Wong, the new addition, barrister Andy Naidu, and Sergeant Peter Benjamin from Victoria Police. Andy, can I put you in the hot seat now and ask? Uh, Peter earlier mentioned about criminal and non-criminal abusers. Can you give us the distinction, please? Um, I'm not certainly. Uh, I'm certainly not sure that Peter was referring to criminal and non-criminal abuses. Um, Peter, correct me if I'm long, wrong. All, all abuses are criminal um, from, from that aspect, but the, the proceedings are different. Um, that is to say, I if you were to apply for an intervention order, that's considered a civil proceeding, and a breach of an intervention order results in a criminal proceeding. Peter? Well, um, <coughs> in the first instance, um, we uh, cannot, uh, there's no law with which we can charge people with emotional abuse verbal abuse, isolation, financial abuse, um, and, and those sorts, and we, we refer to them as non-criminal abuse. All family violence is a crime, but technically, um, until an intervention order is granted, um, the, these matters um, are, not, um, uh, uh, are not criminal matters. Mm. Peter, and can I ask, sorry, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. and often, Peter, my experience is that um, women from the um, Asian and other cultural communities, uh, often they, when there is an intervention order in place, women may not necessarily want to go ahead with the intervention order. They often turn to a church pastor or a community elder or sometimes even a Buddhist monk or Buddhist nun. Um, they usually talk through things with them before they decide that they want to go ahead with the intervention order. Interesting orders. point, Kai, but yeah. I'll come to that. Can I ask um, Peter, if there's family violence, what's the first thing someone should do? Well, I, I think um, uh, the first thing is uh, to get themselves out of that situation. Mm -hmm. to, they must be safe and, um, uh, and, and, and call the police. If, if there's an ongoing family violence situation, um, it, um, then uh, this is where neighbours can um, can um, get involved in, you know, ringing police. Um, and of course, if a, a woman could speak and get to know her neighbours, and or, um, or or a friend that they can ring and and maybe uh, you know have a code or something to just call the police. When you say call the police, is it triple uh, zero or is th are there any other special numbers? I, I think triple zero is the best number to call, remembering that providing uh, the person can speak enough English to say that they want a, a police is, and then if they get through to police on triple zero and expl explain that they can't speak um, English mm -hmm. then and, and just give the, the, di the uh, language and the dialect that they speak, mm -hmm. police will patch in a telephone interpreter very, very quickly. I see, so they will help. All right, uh, I'll get back to you, Kai, on that issue. It's a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, of course, from people from Asian backgrounds, uh, due to cultural um, circumstances and other uh, mm -hmm. reasons, they do approach uh, an elder or a family friend. Now, you're a clinical psychologist. Mm -hmm. Do you approve it or not? Is it good or bad? Well, I think we have to look at you know, domestic violence or family violence and in a wider social context. But if you are going to say, this is actually a clinical problem and people are afraid because they are afraid to tell their private lives, then saying that you have to talk to a psychologist and not an, a community elder or a Buddhist monk, then people might not come. That itself is a problem, yes. isn't it? Yes. So I think when you talk about um, change, you have to help people think through how to get to possibilities. So in fact, when Peter and yourself first mentioned the word perpetrator, I think over the last years, working with both couples, you know, who, or women who wants their spouse to come for counselling, I think it's not helpful to use the word perpetrator because you might be focusing on the person's deficit and the char character. Mm -hmm. When we might want, and often women want a man to change, so we actually work with getting them to think about how to invite men to 
consider what makes their behavior abusive. Yeah, and I think in, in Victoria, there are lots of men's behavior change program that's happening. You know, I don't have a lot to do with that part of the program. My job involves getting women to come to individual counseling, sometimes couple counseling, and mainly group counseling. Peter, uh, we, can I just add sure. to that, that language is so important when you yeah. talk about family mm -hmm. violence, and there must be a shared understanding and you know, based on common language, that's a that's a, a basic tenant of the integrated approach that we have in Victoria to family violence, and um, I, I think that um, uh, so we might, in the context of uh, this evening, talk about family violence uh, and perpetrators and that. But of course, um, the, the language uh, would mm -hmm. change to um, encourage violent men to get involved mm -hmm. um, in the in How the do you actually get uh, violent men, so to speak, to involved in this counselling process? Well, we uh, probably speak um, uh, to violent men most at mm -hmm. the point of crisis. Um, but in fact, uh, there are very many more um, violent men that will, of their own volition, make contact with the specialist services. and. Victoria Police will refer, it's part of our code of practice that when we attend an incident, we will make referrals for the, um, the woman, um, for the man and children if necessary, um, but it's always to a specialist um, funded service because right. there's a set of, um, um, you know, uh, these are all DA, Department of Human Services mm -hmm. or Department of Health, I should say, uh, funded services and um, uh, and these are the ones that um, we um, are bound to. And like we make, you know, um, of the 60,000 incidents, we make That's uh, huge. even more uh, um, referrals because we're referring uh, both uh, both couples. Right. And and it's only through that. I mean, we can help so far and we can cover on, on the criminal aspects, but the support um, and safety is a matter of, you know, through the civil intervention orders and support and advocacy through the, um, the referrals that we make. Interesting. So uh, we are taking a short break. This is, this where is, a, this is a very interesting point. Yes. And, and um, this is where they also go to their Buddhist monk to get uh, some help so to called. work out what they want to do.